slow moving mixed freight southbound Greenville, South Carolina just passed through CP Worley the fact that they're moving so slow makes me think they're either diverging and the tail of the train is still passing through CP Worley or uh, they're expecting a red at the North Greenville light and they were wanting to give the dispatcher time to set North Greenville so they can keep going. model number on UP I'll have to look at that closer. I'm not good at looking at an engine and telling you what it is by the way but by the shape of it. I, I read those little <laughs> things they paint on there to tell you what the engine is. Although I did notice that both the uh, Norfolk Southern units were in the 9000 series and the bulk of the 9000 series for the Norfolk Southern units is dash nines. They weren't uh, at the extreme upper end of the numbering or where it wouldn't have been a dash nine. I'm pretty sure that's what they were. We had a bright sunny day yesterday. I wasn't able to get out and look at trains much. Now we're lined up for several days of rain. There's a uh, possible hurricane coming in on the east coast of the U.S. Uh, we're not, it's not going to hit South Carolina. It's actually going to come ashore. The projection I saw were for uh, up around Virginia. But they were showing the bands of rain stretching all the way out, not just to Charlotte, not just to Greenville, South Carolina, where I am here, but all the way to Atlanta, they were going to get some rain out of this thing. So, pretty wide storm. Which isn't unusual for a hurricane because you always have those, uh, with that circulation, you always have those bands of thunder showers. And a lot of times, if you're out in the outer areas like we are, It'll end up, you'll have a band of rain, then a band of clear, then a band of rain, then a band of clear. So don't look for it to be a total washout today. Hopefully we're just going through one of the first bands of rain and we're actually going to have some nice sunshine today too. This time of morning, the most typical mixed freight to see is Norfolk Southern 153. That's probably what this in, uh, this uh, train is. 153 runs from Linwood, North Carolina to Birmingham, Alabama. As is typical of uh, mixed freight manifest trains in the 100 series, it's going to go from one uh, classification yard to another classification yard doesn't mean there's not some places along the way that these things pick up or drop off. I, uh, I'm not sure how, how often if 153 stops in Green Bubbles every time they come through. They generally have stuff to pick up and drop off or just sometimes. But then being over there on track two it does make it easier for them to get over to the uh, places where they would set off the cars in Greenville. So. If they had been on uh, if they had been on track one before they got to CP Worley, they probably did diverge to track two, so they could work Greenville Yard. But it's just as likely that they just came in on track two. When I did pass uh, over the uh, 
Pleasant Burger Road Bridge that sees where you can see the signals at CP Worley this morning. It was set for diverging, but I'm pretty sure a train uh, came through while I was getting my drink at the corner gas station before I headed into work. So that was probably the one that diverged. This is more than likely just been on track two since it got to the uh, two track area up there where at Taylor's where it goes from uh, one track through the Taylor Taylor's area. Then it's two tracked all the way through Greenville here, so. And actually, a good, well, not too far to the other side of Greenville before there's another single track section. I mentioned being able to see the signals at CP Worley uh, when I came over the bridge at Pleasantburg Road. The fact that if there was a train that diverged there, and then this one's coming in, and unless they were both, I didn't, I don't remember which track was set to diverge to what. So unless unless they were both on track two, and the reason this one's going slow is to wait for that one to get out of the way then I would think track one would be occupied. But then again, like I said, maybe maybe that's why this maybe that's why 153 here, that's why I'm gonna presume 153 is going so slowly. TFM is a former railroad of Mexico. It got rolled into the Kansas City Southern. They had set up a joint partnership with a, I believe, with a Mexican railroad company, and after several years in, the Mexican railroad company uh, wasn't as interested in proceeding with it as Kansas City Southern was, and uh, so now a lot of that equipment you'll see that TCM on is actually actually owned by Kansas City Southern, or they have a sort of a subsidiary corporation within them, Kansas City Southern de Mexico. Although if you should say day, then maybe you should say Mexico. Kansas City Southern Day Mexico. That probably works too. Well, if this thing is going to come to a complete stop, I can't wait around. I do have work to do. actually waiting for something out here to finish cleaning out. So I do have a few more minutes. If it doesn't come to a complete stop, I should be able to film the whole train. And if it does come to a complete stop, I can walk up to the far end of the arch and possibly see the rest of the train, depending on how far they get before they come to a complete stop, because I'm pretty far into it by now. Ten minutes is a long time for a single video of one uh, mixed freight train. A lot of the intermodals that go by here pass in two minutes from the time I start the video, which is usually several seconds before they come into sight, till I've followed the tail of them as far as it can be seen. So, uh, <laughs> ten minutes is significantly longer than that even though the train is not significantly longer. It's just that slow. Looks to me like the speed might be picking back up. Which may mean they got a green signal at North Greenville. GPLX 711, that's a low series number. You see the type of uh, outlets it has on the bottom are the top typically used by plastics industry rail cars. Hey, NDYX, look, got the caps off. That's not good. 
clean out your cars and you close up the cap so you can't leak anything. Now, you could actually see all the way through those pipes, so they're pretty clean, but I also was able to see there was a few pellets laying in the bottom of them, too. There's another one with caps off. I was always told we could get charged $50 per hatch we left open. I guess they don't tell that to all plastics companies. Let's look at how many caps are open on these plastics industry cars. That is a huge number of caps open. We usually don't see that. Most people are pretty good about closing their caps. You'll see one or two open. There was like four cars in a row that almost all the caps were open on. I had my camera turned up though, so I don't know if you saw it. Talked about it. Then I realized I was holding the camera for wrong end. types of hopper cars, obviously not plastics industry uh, to be unloaded the way these are like the pneumatic. Uh, 